Hi, welcome to Statistics Online. I'm Naomi Lowe, and this is lecture number one, part one. Lecture one will cover branches of statistics, variable types, summarizing data with graphs and tables, distributions, and misleading graphs. Today, in part one of lecture one, we will cover branches of statistics, both descriptive and inferential statistics, and we will cover variable types, both numeric and nominal, and then we will break down numeric variables into subtypes. The branches of statistics, there are two major branches. There are descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Now, descriptive statistics works with numbers that you have collected. It works with data that you actually have. Descriptive statistics is summarizing numbers into meaningful units, summarizing and organizing those numbers. For example, in our class, you may want to know what the ages of students are. And you can take the age of every student, you take the mean or the average, and you give one number that tells us something about our class. It's summarizing information about our class. Inferential statistics, on the other hand, deal with drawing conclusions about larger groups, groups that you don't have all the information from. Making inferences from larger groups that go beyond the data that you've collected. So, for example, you might want to know how many women and men are enrolled in this class that you're taking. That would be a descriptive statistic. I could easily calculate how many count the frequency of men, count the frequency of women, give you a number. You have all the numbers. You know exactly how many men and how many women are in the class. That's a descriptive step. Now, an inferential question that's related to that, you may want to know how many men and how many women are enrolled in college in the country. Okay? We probably do not have the resources to go and survey every single college and find out the exact numbers of men and women, but we might be able to do, take a sample, a smaller part of the population, and then draw a conclusion, a good estimate of how many men and women are enrolled in colleges around the country. Okay. Another example of an inferential statistic, I could ask the question, who's smarter? Who has a higher IQ, men or women? What do you think? Well, whatever you think, if we're going to go out and do statistics to figure this out, we probably are not going to survey every single man in the world and administer an IQ test and every single woman in the world and administer an IQ test. It'd be literally impossible. So instead, we will sample, we'll take a small group of this population we're interested in, administer the IQ test to this small group, look for differences, and then draw conclusions about the larger group we're really interested in, all men and women, based on this small set of data for some males and females. Now, let's move on to variable types. Now, this is also called level of measurement, which you'll find out in just a little bit, because the types of variables that we have depend on how you measure them. Some variables you can measure in different ways. There are two basic types of variables, nominal and numeric. Many times 